Hey, what's up everybody? David with the Freeze Dry Business Channel. Hey, have you been trying to figure out what the best tools are for cutting hard candies like Jolly Ranchers? In today's video, we're gonna use four different tools to cut the Jolly Rancher, and I'm gonna see which one is the fastest, and that's what we're gonna find out today. Hey, if you are a freeze dry business owner, you're looking at starting a freeze dry business, this channel's for you. I started this whole channel to connect the freeze dry business community with the tools and resources needed to grow a sustainable business. And again, a sustainable business is one that works well with your lifestyle. It doesn't have to be too big. It doesn't have to be too small. You just have to build it the way you can sustain a healthy, profitable lifestyle for your business and your family. So let's get to it. So today, I'm gonna use four different tools to cut Jolly Ranches because I've been seeing on different forums that there's different tools and I've been interested in seeing what these tools can do. Now, why do you need to cut Jolly Ranchers? Well, in my experience, Jolly Ranchers just out of the actual wrapper grow and puff up in the freeze dryer way too big. And if you'd like to see that example, I've got a couple videos for the Jolly Ranchers. One I did a couple of uh, months ago, and one I did just recently to test out the weight of Jolly Ranchers, so you can check out those videos. I'll also share a little bit in this video later on for a timeline of kind of what they come out with on the final result. But for today's video, we're just gonna do the cutting to see how quickly some of these tools can actually cut. So what are these tools that I'm gonna use? Well, this is a Texas nut sheller. Now this is recommended off of a couple different forums, so I'm gonna see how this does. I'm also gonna use my knife that I've always used. I'm also gonna use some pipe cutters. Somebody's recommended that. I'm gonna see how quickly they cut. Now another tool that I've seen that's been very obscure but been recommended to cut very well is this quail egg uh, slicer. And this is really odd, but I'm gonna try it and see how quickly it does cut. Now to make this video short and sweet, I'm gonna take 20 Jolly Ranchers, I'm gonna cut them in half using each tool, and then I'm gonna set a timer to see how quickly it takes me to cut those. Now all these tools except for the knife I haven't used, so give or take more of the efficiency that comes along with using the tool. But I'm excited, let's go ahead and start using these tools and see how quickly we can cut the Jolly Ranchers. So here we go, we've got 20 full-size Jolly Ranchers, now with the knife, I like cutting with the wrapper on. It's very easy to come out. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this handy little timer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how fast each one does for cutting 20 Jolly Ranchers. Now I'm gonna put these Jolly Ranchers uh, in a bowl and I'm gonna freeze it later. That's what I've found. Um, helps with not getting them too sticky because I'm gonna put them in the freeze dryer later. This video is purely just to show the different tools and how they cut and how quickly and efficiently it will. At the end of this video, a shortcut of my previous video where the final result of the Jolly Ranchers were. So you kind of get this video, plus you also can see what the final result is. All right, let's press start, here we go. This one I can do kind of two at a time sometimes, but sometimes it's just faster to go with one. And I cut them in half because I've just found that they puff up the right size and still fit in my bags. All right, 23 seconds. All right, so that's for the knife. Let's go ahead and put these in a bowl. And then what we'll do is we'll do another tool next. All right, here's the pipe cutters. Let's go ahead and see how fast the pipe cutters cut. Now I'm gonna still do this with the wrappers on. So it looks like with the pipe cutters, you just kind of put the roller rancher in here and then we'll just kind of cut them in half with the wrapper on. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. Now that actually cuts really nicely. It's one at a time though. So that's fine, wow, that is really, a clean cut versus the knife. Now, give or take, I just haven't done this before. I'm trying to be as fast as possible. I'm not trying to say that my knife is better, since I've always used that, because I, I do want to be fast at this, but man, this cuts really nice, this pipe cutter. Very sharp. Cut, stop, all right, wow. Okay, so 20 Jolly Ranchers, that took 35 seconds. I would probably say this pipe cutter, very sharp and very clean cut on the Jolly Ranchers. I really like that. And actually make sure that you're actually cutting a full half. Sometimes with the knife, you can get kind of like on the edge and things like that. It can be an inconsistent. So I'd probably say this was a success. 20 Jolly Ranchers with the quail egg cutters. Let's see how fast we can do it. Here we go. First time ever doing quail egg cutters. Put it in the square there. I'm not sure I like maybe these wrappers in them. Not, uh, not super easy to get them in and out of this. 
uh, circle. Not getting very fond of it and it's hard to get them out. Let's see. So what I'm doing here, maybe I'm just doing it wrong and I'm just supposed to like just kind of put it in and then pull it out and not let it fall out. Okay, there you go. Well, I'm already at a minute with the egg quail egg cutters. <laughs> now, some of you are probably who use this all the time. If you're watching this, maybe you love the quail egg cutters um, and you're like, oh my God, David, you are just not doing this right. Um, but that's it. All right, let's stop it. All right, wow. A minute and 23 seconds over a minute from some of these other ones. I don't know. My recommendation is not to get these. I'm not a fan now. If you have some recommendations of how to use these, maybe better than I did, uh, go ahead and put in the comments and, and tell me and I'll redo the quail egg cutters. That's fine. So let's put these away. Okay, so the Texas nut chiller, it's got this plastic piece and on the back of the, of the actual container, it says to keep this plastic piece, which I've never used this before. So I was kind of like, you know, is that supposed to be on there? Yes, it is. So I'm assuming kind of it helps kind of contain the whatever you're cutting and then it comes out the other end down here. All right, so let's test this out. I've got 20 Jolly Ranchers for the Texas nut sheller. Let's see how fast this one goes. Go. All right, David, come on. Oh, nice. This isn't so bad. All right. So I'd probably say while I am doing this, you know, it's kind of fun having these different tools. All right, stop. Wow. All right. Hey, 34 seconds. Wow, okay, so I'd probably say, um, now all of these did cut in half. I like that, and that was 20. Okay, so kind of what we observed here is, I'd probably say the, the winners here are the knife and the Texas nut sheller and the pipe cutters. So these all took, what, between about 26 seconds to 35 seconds for these tools. The quail uh, egg cutters, took a lot longer. I may be doing this wrong, but if, if this is the way to do it, I don't know if I would recommend these quail egg cutters, but maybe they might be best for um, other types of candies. But if you wanna purchase any of these uh, items, they're on amazon.com, and I've got some links in the video description. So I'd probably say that the pipe cutters, I really like these, it's just more singular, so you have to use one at a time. Same with the Texas nut sheller, but the knife, you could probably do two and three at once and really go through. So I think this is the fastest. All right, here's the Jolly Ranchers. Now, if you've never seen Jolly Ranchers expand and you're new to freeze drying, this is why people start freeze drying candy. It's so awesome. That hard candy turns into the crunchiness. So good. Hey, that was awesome using all those tools. I'm glad I set the timer because I really wanted to know how quickly and efficiently you could do these different tools. I really like that Texas nut sheller and I also like the pipe cutters. I'd probably say it, in ranking wise, it'd be probably be knife and then it'd be the pipe cutters because I really like the clean cut that it had. And then the Texas nut sheller was just as efficient as that. It just didn't act as much of a cut as I wanted it to be. But I think you could buy all of those and be very much equipped to cut uh, different types of candy very fast. If you have any comments about the tools that you use to make your business more efficient, go ahead and put the comments in this video. Also, check out my video description for all links to different types of freeze drying tools that I use for my business. And also, if you're planning on buying a Harvest Right freeze dryer, go ahead and use the affiliate referral link in my link below. That'd really help me out to let them know that I referred you. Hey, until next time, go out and make a difference in the community using your business, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers. Thank you.